smoke perp. He was gonna have a lot to say about him. But I was actually a fan of his music back in the day, man. Like he had some banging songs. I ain't gonna hold you. Like Glock inside my bands. That song still slaps to this day. His first album, Dead Star, was also pretty solid. You know what I'm saying? Two of his most popular songs were on there too. Audi and Fingers Blue with Travis Scott. Bless your trap. This was his second project. And you know what I'm saying? It was pretty cool. Like he had some high songs on it. One, two, three. Do not disturb with Yachty and Offset. Like, bro, both them songs is tough. Another thing people ain't give him enough credit for, man. His part on the 2018 XXL Cypher, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, that's a mini stack. Yeah, hey. pull up on your block, bitch. I'm blowing racks. Ooh, yeah. I can't fuck with niggas. All these niggas rest. You hey. get lost in the sauce. Here's a fucking map. Niggas sneak this until we pop out at the trash spot. Bitch, I keep a Mac, and I ain't talking Macintosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that red dot. Looking yeah, like yeah. a Hindu when I put him on that red dot. No Look red dot. I'm not finna act like this is some god level XXL verse, but man, this is not bad for Smoke Purp. He's done a lot worse. Like, that's actually crazy. He somehow managed to have the best one. You know what I'm saying? But I guess that's not hard to compete with when the two others in the cypher is Lil Pump and Block Boy JB. You know what's crazy about him being on XXL that year? I don't know anybody that can name five Smoke Purp songs, but somehow they would be able to name five Lil Pump songs, man. And the rap scene in 2017, especially with SoundCloud, like he was blowing up alongside X, Ski Mask, Trippy Red, Uzi, Cardi, Lil Peep, and Lil Xan even. Then there's just Smoke Perp, who was kind of just there. Like he, he really spent his career sort of as Lil Pump's underling, which is insane with where his career is sitting at. Like, it's, it's in the fucking toilet. The fact that he went, sat down, and made this freestyle, I don't understand what's going through his head, man. Like, this sh obviously should have never happened. People was already not listening to the music, so this really ain't help his career in no way, shape, or form. Like, this shit just straight fucking pouring gasoline on top of the fucking dumpster fire which was his fucking rap career. I feel like Tim Westwood had to have been trolling with this video title. Smoke, perp, freestyle, off the dome, 40 minutes of fire. It took people a year after it being uploaded to talk about it. Like imagine you're at the height of your career, right? Just for you to be brought up two years later because your freestyle is straight dog water. Nah, not only that, but they had to turn off the YouTube comments so he don't get bullied. Play it like it's Fortnite, yeah. Yeah. In the moonlight, in the spotlight, uh, I don't really, really want the limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. You can move me on the motherfucking limelight. Cause I really, really, really want to blow pipes. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Huh? What do you mean by that, sir? This sounds like some real man like your activity. Why was this the words that he chose to put together, man? Like, he really just had to say that that's that's what he really wants to do and man i guess he's been wanting to do it for a long time because he waited until he had the opportunity to freestyle for 40 minutes now here comes the question was smoke perp even real i feel like he had to have been somebody's imaginary friend come to life and this doesn't make it any better Lil perp really is on top bitch Lil perp turned up the notch bitch yeah boy i feel like you're on scooter yeah, for that little bitch, take a flight to Bermuda. She give me brand like a tutor, huh? For that little bitch, she rhyme me like a scooter. Lil Perk. The words he chose to rhyme together, Bermuda, tutor, and scooter. This shit, we, this was his best. Like he could not do better than that. Like this was the last thing he left the people with. Smoke Perk's freestyling abilities aside, he's had his controversies with others in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? He had his, he had his beef with Russ back in 2017 that just ended with him getting jumped. <laughs> This was just a bad look. I don't think I would perform at any shows after that. But he a better man than me. He got past it. And at some point, people just stopped showing up to his concerts. Like, he was performing at some venue. He only had, like, four or five people pop out. Like, this was a this was a devastating sight, man. Like, what, like, what, do, you, what do you do to come back from that? If I was smoke perp in that situation, man, I promise you, 
I'm I'm quitting music. I'm quitting music, and I'm calling up my label and telling them to take down all my songs from all streaming services. At that point, this shit is dead to me. Like, bro, call it quits. We out. You guys ain't never hearing from me again. Smoke Perp, bro, he, he gonna have to keep doing shows. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter how you feeling when rent is due. You know what I'm saying? And I know Smoke Perp hurting for a bag, which I find crazy. Some of y'all not going to understand, but let me give y'all a rundown. All right, so y'all know that song, I Love It, with Lil Pump and Kanye? That song was actually written by Smoke Perp, if you can believe it or not. You could go check the song and see that he does have writer credits on it. You want IG Live just fucking going into detail about how much he made off this I don't need to make music, bro. I'm rich as fuck. Don't forget I wrote Kanye's biggest song, I Love It. I made $26 million in three months off of that song. So y'all niggas is asleep. I don't need to do shit ever again. <laughs> Right, so he said that in 2021 the next year in 2022 this way he got to say and kanye nigga you owe me like nine million dollars nigga hit my line nigga or my lawyer's gonna hit your lawyer nigga kanye you still owe me like nine million dollars nigga tap it nigga. he really went on instagram and tried to press kanye over a song that had dropped three years ago at the time but nah he just sat down and was like yo bro let me let me see if i can get a rise out of this fucking billionaire to try and throw some chips my way and kanye don't need to do that bro he already he gave you your song you said it yourself you don't need to make music again so guess what nigga don't make no music again we don't want to hear it. this type of clout chasing the reason why kanye was never gonna clear no smoke perp verse he had a song with Kanye that was supposed to be on Dead Star 2. But around that time, Kanye had became a Christian and made the decision of not swearing in his newer music. So there was like no chance of that verse getting cleared at all. Smoke Perp really just been grasping at straws. And I'd do the same thing if I was the man that made Florida Jet. That project cost him his entire career. It really makes you think of how time flies. Like he went from an upcoming rapper who got co-signs from Kanye, Drake, Chief Keith, Boy, Travis Scott literally wanted to have him signed to his label Cactus Jack at some point, and he chose to go to Alamo. Like he fumbled immensely. And honestly, I think if he had chose to sign with Cactus Jack, like the possibility of him having and maintaining a rap career would have been a lot higher. So he's basically a fucking loser. And he just chose the option to be remembered to the people as. A uh, Cash Cardi clone, which is unfortunate because out of the two, Smoke Perp was clearly more talented than Lil Pub ever was, bro. And that shit just grinds my fucking gears because people don't understand it. Like, bro, I'll be like, yo, nah, Perp was crazy back in the day, and niggas will look at me like I'm fucking smoking crack. I'm gonna keep it too real. I ain't gonna lie for a brief period, uh, and I mean brief, I mean brief period. I thought he was better than Cardi. I called you. Now, y'all might not agree with that, but just hear me out real quick, bro. He was making shit like this back in 2017. Every night I'm on drugs. I don't think I can get enough. Every night I'm on drugs. Pop a bean and go into the moon. Cardi wasn't making no melodic shit in 2017, but when he dropped Die Lit, it, it was pretty much over. Like, it, it took some time for me to really to really cope with the fact that Smoke Perp was going downhill, but it, nah, it, it happened. It happened, though. If you go on Smoke Perp's newest song, it's no longer under Alamo, which could mean he either fulfilled the obligations in his contract and went independent, or he just ended up getting dropped from his label. Either way, it's still an L, cause at the end of the day, you're smoke perp, so all you can really do is just sit there and hold it, bro. Hold that L, and just try not to cry about it. Cause I I'm sure this must be just upsetting and just soul crushing. And you know, he really had this coming, man. You know, he chose to, he just chose to be lame. He chose to make songs with Lil Pump, promote the use of Xanax, in life, you really just can't win them all, especially when you're smoke perp. Because where can his career really go at this point? Like, nobody respects you or your music, so his chances of making a comeback in the industry aren't high at all. I think the lesson we can really take away from this is just stay in school, and whatever you do, just don't be smoke perp, and you'll be fine. He making he making TikToks and YouTube shorts, so, you know. Hey, for, for those Smoke Perp fans that are still clinging on to his newest tracks thinking that they're good, even though they're complete and utter 
shit. Y'all can y'all can y'all can rest assured he he's promoting the music, making TikToks and YouTube shorts and such. So that's a start. But I don't know, man. What y'all what y'all think though? Y'all think Smoke Purse should continue to make music, or should he just hang it up and go become a male stripper in Singapore? Let me know down in the comments. With that being said, make sure to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Because it helps me out and keeps up my will to live. And that literally costs you zero fucking dollars. So please help me. Please. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one.